Hi everybody, so nerves on your driving test, it does affect a lots of people. You know, um, I've sat in the back of tests and I'm watching my student, it's like a different person driving than I've been sat next to them there and, and it's the nerves. So if you are one of the people that you know you get nervous, then you need to try and prepare for that test because on the day of the test, you're probably gonna feel nerves, unfortunately. Now, the different, de different degrees on how, how severe it affects you. Some people, it's just a little bit of pre-test nerves. As soon as you start driving, it disappears. I was a good example of that. Uh, and let me tell you, I mean, m when I took my driving test, I read the reg plate wrong. And that little bit affected me straight away because I was nervous then. And when I came to set the driving test about a minute later, I, I kangarooed, would you believe it? Yeah, I kangarooed from a, from a start to the junction. It, must, it felt like about an eternity, but it must have been about 20 seconds from when I moved off to the junction at the end of the road. So I kangarooed down the road and then stalled at the first junction, emerging right. And I'm saying to myself, come on James, you can drive better than that. Stop being silly. I'm showing myself up kind of thing. And I just switched off and just thought, I'm just gonna drive. Forget about a person next to me, just drive. Try and listen to what it's trying to tell and drive. And I drove, you know, and, and the rest of the, the lesson went quite well, or the rest of the test went quite well. And, you know, that was, that was my story of nerves at the beginning. Now, like I say, I've sat in the back of tests and the person sets off and the kangaroo and it reminds me of when I done mine and I've seen people when they do manoeuvres, they completely forget the manoeuvre. So if you think you're gonna be affected by nerves, then you want to be trying to prepare yourself by preparing for nerves. And there's different ways you can do it. One, I mean, if, if you've seen a couple of my videos on nerves, I'll put a, a link at the top and, and a link in the description. But there's things you can do. And I, I say the simple things would be make sure a week before you test, you start having regular early night sleeps so that you're completely energized for your test. You can also make sure that you're eating regular. So when you get up on the day of your test, you're not thinking, oh, I've got belly ache. I don't feel like eating, eating because I've got butterflies. Make sure you eat. Make sure you drink. Make sure you go to the toilet before you take your test so you're not thinking about the toilet and bursting for a week kind of thing. All these things that you can do to make yourself stay focused and stay on the driving. And I say to lots of people, that there's little things you can do, like you can take short, deep breaths, you know, for about four or five seconds. Slowing your heartbeat down, that helps. Right. And um, I had someone the other, the other day at the beginning of the test, and I was chatting to him, and I said, how do you feel? I feel very dead, dead nervous. So I said, listen, when you sit in that car with the examiner, if you're feeling like you're really nervous before you set off and the exam says, off you go when you're ready, just say, do you mind if we sit here for a minute first, please, while I just calm down? They're gonna say, yeah, of course. And they'll sit there for maybe 30, 40, 50 seconds, and they'll say, are you ready now? So you can do little things like that to help you. And remember, that examiner next to you, they're actually quite nice, you know? They want you to pass. If you, if you don't drive very well, not to a good standard, then they're gonna fail you, unfortunately. But they want you to pass. If you think you're gonna be affected quite severely by nerves, and you, you took a test and it was really bad, and you think, this is what I'm like when I take exams, I can't get over it, then I'll put a link below to a website that I, that I know of an instructor who specializes in people with nerves and does one-to-one -one online tuition or online courses that'll help you. So that's, a, that's another option. There's also, I don't know if you've heard of it, tapping technique. That's another thing you can do. But uh, I'll put a link to a video up top there on tapping techniques that people do. So kind of pressure points around your body that will help calm you down. And there's things you can do, like talk yourself through things. But like I say, with that website that I know where, put below, that'll definitely help you. 
So don't feel like it's the end of the world if, the, if you're suffering from nerves. There's ways you can get around it, the ways you can kind of get over that, that anxiety, okay? Just be safe on the roads, look forward to the driving test, don't dread it, and good luck on the driving test.